hi welcome back to my channel welcome to those of you who are new today's project will be um, a cowl a round neck cowl or poncho a round neck poncho um, for this um, project I'll be using red heart super saver stripes Um, it's number four. It's number, number four, and it's called Latte Stripe. Latte Stripe. Um, I'll be using a four point zero zero crochet hook. I also have a um, pair of scissors. I also have the yarn needle to tie in all the loose ends after I'm um, completing the project. Now for this roll neck poncho, um, we'll, I'll start with a chain of 96, which for the sake of time, I went ahead and I made my 96 chains so um, what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna join it to make us to make a ring and you know try and get your string as straight as possible without any twists so we um, make a slip stitch in the first stitch so let's join it at this point Just make a slip stitch. There we go. It's been joined. So now, in every stitch, I'll be putting a half double crochet all around the circle until we reach back at the beginning point. So let me start by um, making my um, half double crochets. For a half double crochet, you yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the stitch, pull up, you yarn over, and you pull through all the loops. That's a half double crochet. Let me do that again. These are the half double crochets. So I'll continue and I'll go straight around the whole circle, putting in one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. I'll meet you back and I'll show you how to join after completing all the half double crochets. I've now reached to the end of um, this row. So now what we're going to do, we're going to make a slip stitch in the first half double crochet that we made on this row, this round. So we're going to insert our hook. So now we have joined our walk and we have a full circle to work with. So our um, second row, the pattern says to chain, make a chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to make a front post double crochet over the next half double crochet. So a front post crochet. You have to yarn over your hook. It's just like making a regular double crochet, but you go around the post, you insert your hook, you pull through your loop, 
pull up the loop complete your double crochet as normal you walked around the half double crochet post now for the other half double crochet we're gonna make a back post double crochet and now this time for the back post double crochet you run over the hook this is the stitch we're gonna be walking around we're gonna insert the hook from behind we're gonna pull up a loop we're gonna complete our double crochet in normal way So we have made a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet and in the next half double crochet the next stitch we're gonna make a front post double crochet we go in pull up, loop, pull up your the loop complete your double crochet as normal front post double crochet we're gonna make a back post double crochet around the other half double crochet from the previous row. Yarn over, insert your hook from behind, pull up your loop, complete your double crochet as normal. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing to complete this this round. We're gonna make front post double crochet, then a back post double crochet around the other stitch, front post crochet, a front post double crochet around this stitch, a back post double crochet around the other stitch. So it's alternating a front post, a back post, a front post, a back post, and so so on. Sorry, until we reach to the end of this round, and I'll come back and I'll show you how to arm. Um, of this round so I'll complete the other arm um, front post and back post double crochets and I'll be back to show you how to end off the round I've now reached to the, the end of arm um, row to round two so now what we're gonna do to arm um, to end this row we're gonna slip stitch in the top of the beginning chain three so one two three we're gonna slip stitch in this stitch so this row round two we're gonna repeat round two for the length that we need for the arm um, for our collar so I would say between 10 and 12 inches, but I'll let you know exactly how many rows um, I've made to achieve the length of the um, the neckline, because it has to um, you know turn over. It's a roll, a roll neck type of um, poncho. So now um, the next row we're gonna chain three, one, two three and now we're gonna make a front post crochet again so a front post double crochet over this front post double crochet from the previous row so we yarn over going from the front yarn over and pull up loop pull up another loop and the back post double crochet we're gonna make a back post double crochet around that post yarn over insert your hook from behind yarn come back to the back pull up your loops complete your double crochet in a normal way front post double crochet over this front post double crochet yarn over going from the front up your loop, complete your double crochet, and the other, the other one will be a back post. 
so we yarn over and stitch up from behind connect the loop and complete double crochet the normal way so we're gonna continue in this way repeating row two until we reach to the de to the de desired length sorry of our row neck for this um poncho so i'm gonna go ahead and make all the other rows the other rounds and i'll come back and i'll show you the next step hi i've now completed um the collar of the poncho now for um for the length of this collar this roll collar i made 15 rows of front post and back post double crochets it's looking gorgeous now um you can make yours as long as you want but this is um the length that i um prefer so you know you just turn it inside out when it's on when you're wearing it that's the way it will look okay so um to continue now the shoulder area to walk down towards the end of the poncho what we're gonna be doing let me bring you a little bit closer We're gonna um, be increasing the stitches so we can um, start forming a shoulder towards the end of the, the poncho. So what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna make a double crochet in the next stitch. Well, two double crochet actually in the next stitch because we're gonna be increasing double crochet in that stitch and one double crochet in the next stitch two double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch and so on so it will be two double crochet in one stitch one double crochet in one stitch two double crochet in one stitch one double crochet in one, in one stitch and we're going to do that all around until we reach to the um the beginning where we start with with our chain three so i'll continue on with these um double crochets and i'll meet you back when i've completed this round so it's two double crochet in one stitch one double crochet in the other stitch straight around this arm um, this neck area so I'll meet you back when I've completed this round hi um, I'm now back after I've completed about um, row 25 I've just completed up to row 25 I've made one corrections when I left off to go off camera I was at um the first row after I completed the um the rows for the neck area I said to um put two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet then two single crochet but I changed because doing it that way it was allowing for too many frills to come into the pattern so I changed that to two single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in each of the next 12 stitches then two single crochet in the next stitch and 12 single crochet one in each of the next 12 stitches and so on so it, it will be two single crochet in the one stitch then one stitch one double crochet in each of the next 12 stitches then two double crochet in the next stitch then one double crochet in the next 12 stitches and so on until we reach the end of that row that round and then the other round following that one will be two single crochet in the first stitch 
one single crochet in each of the next 13 stitches then two single crochet in the next stitch then one single crochet in each of the next 13 stitches those are the increased rounds and then the other two rows are what I call the Suzette stitch I hope well I have the complete pattern in in the description box and I and um it is very simple and clear so you will be able to follow it straight along so the Suzette stitch is one single crochet and one double crochet in the, in one stitch then you skip a stitch and then you put one single crochet and one double crochet in the next stitch then you skip a stitch one single crochet and one double crochet in the next stitch so I made two rows of that stitch and then an increased stitch after and now this other increased stitch will be two single crochet in one stitch one single crochet in each of the next 14 stitches because when we left off on the last increased stitch it was 13 stitches one single crochet in each of the next 13 stitches so this other increased stitch will be one double crochet in each of the next 14 stitches and then after that stitch I have three rows of the Suzette stitch following and now what you'll have to do you have to cut after these three rows of the Suzette stitch then you'll put a row of increased stitches which will be two double crochet in the first stitch one double crochet in each of the next 15 stitches and, uh, and you repeat those rows until you have reached the desired length of your poncho um, I have everything written very clearly for you to follow so um, I'm gonna stop right at this point and um, when I've completed this whole thing I'll come back and let you see what the finished product is looking like it's quite simple it's just a matter of repeating the, the two the two rows which will be the pattern until you reach that desired length that you require for your poncho you could make it as long or as short as you prefer so um, when I'm finished with this whole um, project I'll be back to show you what the finished product product looks like